medyo nalilito ako dun sa character nung nung Eco Zone na to because nga it's the it's the whole province. Eh. Um again, Mr. President, Your Honor. Um in Bataan it's the whole province, in Cagayan it's um nearly half of the municipalities of the province although they did not have a footprint in those up to today. Hindi pa nag-expand. Um but um Senator Pimentel during your exchange with um Senator Po earlier said paano nga naman kung meron ng manufacturing sa labas? ng uh, fence na pasok sa zone. Sabi ko, based on my amendment, if it is carried, he will not be um, granted a license or a permit because um, BESA cannot fence it since it's not contiguous. Ang point naman ni Senator Mentel, kawawa naman siya. Sabi ko, under the bill, he can apply with BESA. And in theory, it has the same incentives and benefits. Sabi ni Senator Pimentel, eh baka gusto niya sa BESA eh. Eh wala na tayong magagawa. Um, we have to choose between uh, the best of both. We have to choose one between uh, two choices. But Mr. President, the point I'm driving at is Clark, Subic, and Cagayan are not fenced. And there is no requirement to fence the no, zones. Clark and Subic are fenced. It is not entirely fenced, Mr. President, Your Honor. It is not. Some parts of uh, Subic is actually uh, forest. It is not yeah, entirely yeah. fenced yet. Pero all those with, I mean, if you're gonna smuggle to the forest, but wala si Robin Padilla dito, but uh, yung, yung, if you're going to use the roads, it's all, may exit, may entrance lahat sila. I agree, I mean, Mr. President. But the same force, is true. It's covered and everything. But the same is true for, pero, Kung gusto may paraan, kung ayaw, palagi namang may no, no. So yung gagawa ng paraan, ang gagawa no, ng paraan what, what I'm saying, Mr. President, uh, Senator Cheese, if you say BGC, ilan lang entrance at exit yun? Dating kampo yun eh. So ang Subic at Clark, dating kampo eh. Pero pag sinabi yung buong tagig, eh may Laguna Lake ka, may Paranaque, may Makati, may Pateros, may Muntinlupa, may Pasig. So ma magkaiba talaga. You cannot, it's not apples to apples. It's an apple orchard to an apple. Mr. President, again, in the case of Bataan, although it covers the entire yeah, province... But Bataan used to be PESA, EPSA, Mariveles zone. Yes. It grew from there. It grew. Eh, but naka-fence pa rin yung may port uh, nandun. I agree. Inaalaw lang individually. Pero walang power ang AFAB na katulad ng powers nito to the rest of the province. That's a different subject matter. No, so empower okay. you. If you're going to compare this to AFAB, if I may, Mr. President, then why don't we just give the same powers of AFAB sa BESA? So kung ano provisions ng AFAB, yun na rin ang provisions ng But Mr. President, generally it is, Mr. President, is to my same. knowledge. In fact, for example, as you pointed out earlier, um CESA even has more powers, for example, no, no. compared ang, to AFAB, ang, compared to um, Subic even, compared to um, BESA mm -hmm. right now. In fact, aside from APECO, these are the only two zones that allow um, internet gaming up to today. Mm. Um, and this is not the case um, in, the, in the case of um, BAS or BESA. So, there are distinctions between economic zones. Some have certain advantages over mm -hmm. the others. Hindi ko sinasabi yung pagalingan, pero siyempre, kada probinsya gusto magkaroon ng advantage. If you ask me, Mr. President, I would like a CESA 2 in Sorsogon, a Sorsogon economic zone, if we have the opportunity and the potential okay. and privilege. A Quezon. A Quezon. 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 Sa Quezon yun eh. Uh, Quezon. Let's, let's, ano, let's make it clear. <laughs> The, the benefits of jobs will go to Bulacan. But, but the benefits of this eco zone will go to the airport city, to San Miguel, and to whoever buys the 40% of the eco zone. Yeah, but, Mr. Indeed, President, there's indeed, also employment yes, there. Yes, that's what I said. Aside, yeah, the jobs will go to the Bulacanos. Some property prices will rise. But this isn't like the basis conversion in Baguio, in Fort Bonifacio, in Pasay na all the benefits went to the, the no, city. Mr. President, Mr. President, whatever the revenue of uh, BESA is, 40% goes to the local government. 40% goes to the local government. 40% goes to um, the, uh, national, sorry, government. the national government. And 20% goes to BESA. Yes, and that 100%, it's much smaller than what they would have gotten 
if they weren't an eco zone. Kasi mas maliit yung 100% na yun dahil marami ng exemption yung yung kumpanya na yun na magbibigay ng 100%. Mr. President, just for the record, um, pero wala pa naman nandun eh. <laughs> unlike Clark, although it was the Americans... No, wal- lang nandun sa Bulacan na magkakaroon because there's an airport, but in Malolos, in in uh, other cities in Bulacan, there are a lot of businesses there. It's a thriving province. Mr. President, just for the record, um, unlike... Well, in the case of Clark, although it's the Americans that built it, government funded it, Now it's operated by the private sector as well. So whatever benefits accruing to that airport now operated by the private sector, revenue going directly to the private sector operator that we do in Clark will benefit him too. In this case, government did not and will not spend based on the franchise granted earlier by Congress, will not spend a single centavo building this airport. So whatever benefits accruing to it by way of traffic, perhaps cargo, um, wala naman din ginastos yung gobyerno sa pagpapatayo ng airport. Hindi tulad nung Clark nga, na nasa pribadong kamay na rin. At in the case of Naiya, lately, binid out na din. Am I excused already yeah. um, by the uh, gentleman from Taguig? Um, because um, it's... <laughs> yeah. no, la- last one item because the good senator chairperson mentioned it na. Yung about ah, the... Did he say last item? Is no, it... last item na kasama si Senator Cheese. <laughs> Anong yun na yung Sa utilities. Sa public utilities. Section 13. Paragraph B. Public utilities. B. Undertake established construction, operation, maintenance of public utilities, other services, and infrastructure in the Bulacan Eco Zone. I may ask the purpose for this provision. What uh, section again, Mr. Section 13, letter D. Section 13, letter D. Okay, letter D. D as in D as in delightful. Undertake the establishment, construction, operation, maintenance of public utilities, other services, infrastructure in the Bulacan Eco Zone, such as light, power, etc. Provided that such shall be in compliance and coordination with the rules and regulations of the concerned departments and agencies. So, what's the question of our colleague? So, what, what's the purpose? Why give uh, the authority this power? Why not the private sector? So, why give them the monopoly of... Uh, th- that's a separate franchise by itself. Because eh? public utility includes distribution of electricity, transmission of electricity, petroleum and petroleum products pipeline, water pipeline distribution, seaports, and public vehicles. So if you have that provision, they can actually put up their own port. So it will now compete with the Manila and Bulacan uh, seaport. And again, we don't have a study regarding that. But this provision will allow them to do that. Well, Mr. President, sometimes when there there is an expansion needed or uh, an improvement in uh, maybe laying out for telecommunications or other infrastructures, it could be a joint venture between the public sector and the private sector. Um, in this case, we also put a provision that says that if it's a franchise already given, let's say, to the to Meralco, hindi naman magta-take over doon. Saan po yun? Saan nakalagay yun? Um, section, ano ba yun? The franchise shall not be... Section 13D. Um... I, it, it's in the it was in the amendment that we put in earlier okay. uh, yeah we so can read amendment. it if okay no I mean I of course I'll take your word for that so kung may existing uh, franchise uh, hindi pwede hindi pwede sila okay if that franchise is revoked or runs out will it be automatically uh, besa na 
No, Mr. President, because uh, we can't take that uh, authority or power mandate yeah. away from Congress. Yeah, but it's Congress that will only be the ones to grant a franchise. The, then, um, then, 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 because basically, without using the word franchise, letter D is actually granting them a franchise. Wala lang yung word na franchise because they're allowed to establish, construct, and operate, maintain public. That's a franchise. Well, maybe, Mr. President, uh, a line can be proposed uh, that says that uh, for undertakings that require a congressional franchise, then they need to go through the the process of securing a congressional franchise. Or can we? W would it be possible, Madam Chair, to make it more broad? That, for example, no port. For us to put up a port in any other place in the whole country, you need, if I'm not mistaken, the port authority mm -hmm. study and everything. Eto eh, kasi, you know, if I was the lawyer of Besa and I saw this, I can build it. Pabaya among questioning ako ng Philippine Ports Authority or questioning ako ng, ng Meralco or whoever. Se secondly, um, could we put that, uh, kasi iba yung sabihin, they may. But what about others? Because I, I, I personally do not like monopolies. Eh. So Bulacan is so big. So if you only have one distributor of electricity or water, or uh, it's going to lead to uh, abuse. Yeah, Iba but, kasi pa rin sa Clark at sa Subic kasi nga compound yun eh. So pero it's, malaki it's, ha? Malaki rin ang Clark. Malaki, mas malaki pa yung Subic. Y yes, but if sasabihin mo pa kasi sa Clark at Subic na dalawa, tatlo kayo doon, um, ang mangyayari doon, baka walang gumawa. Uh, unlike sa Bulacan, it's an existing province. Eh. It's a, it's That's a, why it's an existing province with existing utilities already um, with uh, franchises that were granted to those. So, you know, to revoke a franchise actually is, takes longer than, than, uh, than but, just an instant re revocation. They have to, there, there should be a case filed in Congress and then doon pa eh, ang dami nga nakalusot yeah. ng mga hindi compliant pa nga eh, uh, sa lower house. So, uh, meron din ngayon na re revoke sa lower house na franchise, pero kailangan pa rin dumaan dito sa atin. So, hindi na naman ganun kadali na mawala ng prangkisa. Yes, Madam Chair, but for example, ah, I wouldn't approve in this Congress, or hindi naman ako pwedeng mag-approve lang, I wouldn't vote for one company to help bulk terminals in Cavite, Batangas, Bulacan. But basically, we're, we're giving this to, to them. If you look, it's uh, wholesale ito. Uh, services, infrastructure, light and power, shipping, barging, stevedoring, cargo, handling, hauling, warehousing, storage of cargo port, port services, concession, piers, Bulkhead, bulk terminals, mooring areas, storage areas, roads, telecommunications. They can put up their own uh, smart and globe. Uh, well, but Mr. President, yung mga ibang eco zones, ganun din yung mga provisions. Yeah, but eh. the, the other eco zones are not a whole province. Eh. Well, Bulacan is one of our biggest uh, highly populated provinces. It's not province. also the whole province of Bulacan. There are only no, 10. Under A and B, it's the whole Bulacan. Well, it, it can expand, but it's still yeah. not. I mean, it, it's something that we can... Uh, that it's not yet defined here in the law which provinces that no. is. Those but, are. Yeah, but Madam from, Chair, iba po yung can expand by legislation. Iba yung nasa law na na you will eh. So, nakaabang na to eh. Nakaabang na kasi, ayan, letter B. The remaining territories of the city of Malolos and Mekawayan uh, and of municipalities of Bulacan, Paumbong, Giginto, Balagtas, Bukawe, Marilao, Obando, and Santa Maria in the province are not yet included as component parts. And then letter C, all other areas or municipalities whose meets and bounds shall be clearly defined within the province of Bulacan. So we only agreed na tanggalin yung surrounding areas. But yung whole province of Bulacan, nakaabang na yan eh. Well, ganun din sa, Bulac sa Bataan actually ngayon. Again, there's a big difference between Bataan and Bulacan, whether the population, the location. Uh, NLEX is not beside Bataan. I Bataan needed it because nga, you know, of its geographic location, etc., etc. So may, may pagka-affirmative action din to eh. D yung sa paglalagay dun sa mga area na yan. Okay, so Mr. Uh, President, I, I actually, I, I understand the concern of the gentleman. Perhaps 
uh, by the proper wording we can uh, put those safeguards para no, hindi lahat I, ma I agree masabi. with you but why not instead of uh, safeguards wh why not just let free market determine the public utilities as it is now in Bulacan because Mr. President there are already franchises granted so maybe what we can put is uh, that's what I meant, Madam Chair. No, why don't why don't we allow it? So, kung may gustong gumawa ng highway don, why stop them? Why why should um, uh, the the Beso have the sole authority to be to build any highway in Bulacan? So, because so you will take away from the others. So, for example, although nabasa ko recently that MVP and RSA once might collaborate on certain expressways. But you see that NLEX and uh, SLEX are handled differently. So under this present one, it's well, only BESO who can determine that. No, um, well, Mr. President, one thing is if, if there are, you know, uh, roads or areas there that need to be developed or transportation terminals, etc., um, that's, that's going to be part of the master plan of the economic zone. It will go through a board. Which, by the way, Mr. President, as I mentioned, uh, DPWH, DP, uh, DOTR is part of, uh, as I mentioned, NEDA, um, DTI. I mean, within, within the board itself, there's already representation by the national government and also the local government. So the, the reason why we're trying to establish also an eco zone is so that, as I mentioned, uh, there can be expediency also. But but again, uh, I will defer again yeah. to the wisdom yeah. also of our colleague. If there's proper wording that he would like to mm. propose, we will no, uh, accept ma it. Madam Chair, what I'm saying, kasi yung the majority will prevail, but it doesn't mean that the majority is always correct. That's why I'm appealing to our reason na hindi naman siguro tama na isang buong probinsya, i-award natin isang ecozone, then lahat ng ports, lahat ng kuryente, tubig, etc., sila lang ang pwedeng mag-determine. Mr. President, so, um, yeah, may, may finish. So parang sasabihin natin sa Bulakenyo, huy, magdi-develop kayo. Pero hindi natin alam, libre pala yung barel, mahal pala yung bala. Mahal pala yung tubig, mahal pala yung kuryente, Yung palang port, eto lang ang pwede because you're taking out the opportunity for the Bulacan government and the national government from allowing other bidders to build all of this. You, by having them represented in the board, tali pa rin ang kamay nila. Wait, so the President, DOTR, may I finish lang? Uh, the DOTR secretary will be in the board, but if the DOTR secretary says SM or MVP wants to build the highway here, the board can shoot him down and say, hindi. Uh, beso lang ang, ano, ang authorized dito. So if they want to do it, mag-propose sila sa, sa Beso. Um, Mr. President, it doesn't say that solely responsible. It says undertake the establishment. It doesn't say solely undertake the establishment. So pwede pa naman dito y na makapasok yes, yung Madam iba. Chair, pero katulad ng port, but it should be it should be sir in compliance and coordination with the rules and regulations of concerned departments and agencies so kung hindi naman ito papayag yung DPWH or DOTR kahit na sabihin mo yung yung na may board representation sila yung ibang departments na hindi kasama sa board can still have a say and strike it down like let's say DPWH na hindi kasama sa board but they're an agency of the government they can they can uh, resist giving a permit even the local government mr president uh, although they have representation in the board it does not take away their autonomy to grant building permits and business permits so meron pa rin po it's a delicate balance also of um of uh, maintaining the autonomy yeah. of the local government Madam at the same Chair, time under the ease of doing uh, government law Ang nakalagay kasi dito, they only have to comply with the rules and regulations. But the legislative authority is given to them na. So katulad ng seaport, halimbawa, you cannot put two seaports near the, the Bulacan Airport. You cannot put that. It's not economically viable. And then, so, then, so, so pwedeng if, pumayag yung, because Madam under Chair, the departments finish. and agencies, yeah, if, the Philippine Ports Authority can just say hindi pwede yan. They, they cannot, under, Madam Chair, they cannot. Because it says here under the law, 
uh, as long as you follow the rules and regulation. When you follow the rules and regulation under the ease of bi uh, doing business law and the anti-red tape, hindi pwedeng i-deny yung permit mo. May legislative authority ka na eh. Sumunod ka sa rules. So, Mr. President, rules we, and regulations of departments yes, and agencies. Yes. They, so, they, they, they have two things. They have authority to grant the license and they have the rules and regulation. If you already gave the legislative uh, authority, sinabi mo na eh, pwede kang gumawa ng port. All you have to do is to download from the internet yung requirement support. It has to be this big, it has to be this, it has to be... Hindi ka na pwedeng pigilan ng DOTR or ng Port Authority na gawin yun. Hindi, Mr. President, if the DOTR, the Port Authority, finds something wrong, for example, um, it's dangerous to build in that area or not, they can still strike no, it down. Uh, of course, if it's dangerous. But if not dangerous, but it's... it's uh, they complied lahat. Pero iba ang gustong gumawa, hindi beso. Beso can block them. And Beso can say, hindi, kami ang gagawa. So, kung kung sinong gagawa ng port doon, dapat hindi Beso ang mag-decide. Ang mag-decide dapat noon, uh, kasi we keep expanding eh. First, it was an airport. Then, an airport city. Then, an eco zone. And then, now, pati kuryente, tubig, bus, highway. So, gumagawa ng sariling autonomous region or may Republic of San Miguel dito sa sa Bulacan, which I think is unfair to other businessmen. Hindi naman po, Mr. President. Ako ha, no, this that, is, that's the, no, no, that's I mean, the implication. I'm not, you are the lawyer, yeah. Mr. President, so I will wait for our colleague to propose a language that he feels comfortable with. But my, my understanding is, you know, within the eco zone are also private lands uh, that cannot just be usurped. So if, if the, uh, there's a private development there between somebody, they can still build uh, they don't, there's no express language that says the Baksesva can um, Madam Chair, deny them. Madam Chair, if I was the Villar group or the SM group or the MVP group at bibilin ko yung lupa, I will check muna kung papayag yung authority na bibildan ko. Kasi kung hindi rin mapapayag yung authority, ba't ko bibilin yung lupa? Eh ang problema, hindi na sila tutuloy sa... Sa, ano eh, sa DOTR, sa PPA, sa uh, ERC, etc. Kailangan pa nila magmano sa beso, which, you know, for all practical, ano, is intimately tied with the airport city and San Miguel Corporation. So that's the reality there. Eh. No, but it's, Mr. President, di ba sinasabi nga natin yung composition ng board, um, ilan lang... Most of them are appointed by the president. The others are ex officio members, uh, and the, the others are from the local government. So, kahit na sabiin mo itong ano, uh, San Miguel might may be the biggest investor. May checks and balances. That's why we put that in the ano. But again, Mr. President, uh, uh, again the expert here, I suppose uh, legally, I would like to wait for your actual amendments, Mr. President, and we 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 can accept it. Yeah. Well, the, the easiest way to do it is, which I, I thought that's what we believe in in this country, is a free market. Uh, so that anyone can come in and in any province in our country, you know, th there are exceptions with enclosed uh, former military camps, and there are reasons for, for that. But, uh, uh, for example, no, Metro Manila, pinaghatian niya ng Manila that Manila water. Da dahil hindi nga... Uh, mature enough pa yung market na sabay sila at ganyan. So may mga ganun accommodation. But for example, Smart at Globe, hindi natin sila pinagbawalan na, na mag-compete. But to give uh, now the power to uh, this entity to have their own telecommunication system so they can put up the ano, a Bulacan Telecoms? Um, Mr. President, I mean to endeavor, ha? like for example now, because uh, we've opened the Public Service Act and um, we've seen that uh, certain like telecommunications is no longer a natural monopoly. Uh, in fact, SpaceX can, can uh, provide service in that area. Converge can provide service in that area um, and, and other telco companies kasi nga, well, hindi na nga natural monopoly yun eh. Wala na yun sa Public Service Act na sinasabing natural monopoly. There are just a few categories. So, Mr. President, pag sinabing uh, free market, eh, free zone. 
I mean, I, it, it's a principle no, of no, encouraging. Chair, it's yeah. called a free zone because walang taxes. No, I, not, I know what you mean. They're... But but that's why we're, we're saying the principle of free market is to encourage nga more capital, more investors. So I, you know, I'm awaiting also what is the proper language uh, that will uh, guarantee. That's why, Madam Chair, the question is, why are we giving them this gift? Hindi naman kasama sa pag free free zone yan eh. Diba? Because this is nga an existing province. This isn't a new uh, vacant lot or, or a uh, redevelopment or a uh, military camp na i-develop mo. Kung halimbawa, i-develop mo ang Fort Magsaysay, then by all means, all of these powers ilalagay mo dyan because except for the military housing and training areas, you have nothing there. But Bulacan is filled with people, filled with businesses, with enterprise and everything. And may mga plano na lahat dyan. Uh, ang, ang the top 10, top 15 na uh, real estate developers, may plano lahat dyan. No, Now, Mr. if President, you make it all subject to uh, right. be, BESA, then it changes the level playing field in the whole province. Okay. Uh, the power, this, this is the understanding that we have. Uh, the power given to BESA is not to the exclusion of other public utilities. Uh, there, there's no express language in the bill prohibiting other utilities to set up. In fact, that is the essence uh, of our amendment earlier. We don't want to exclude others. BESA does not even give the franchise. It is still the agencies and Congress. So, um, Mr. President, uh, we, we, can, we can expound on this, but uh, I would well, also would like to... Well, two questions yeah. about that. One... If other entities do not have a legislative franchise, but we already gave them, then sila lang ang pwedeng gumawa. Oh. Uh, so, yun nga. So, shouldn't we give everyone? I'm sorry? We, we already gave BESA. Eh. So, like telecommunications, kailangan mo ng franchise para magkaroon ng telco. Eh. We're not giving BESA a franchise, uh, Mr. President. Wala lang yung word na franchise, but... We're basically uh, giving them a franchise. To undertake. Um, Mr. President, it's just saying that they're not excluded from perhaps undertaking it. But they still, after they they undertake this, let's say uh, they want to build uh, infrastructure for telecommunications, for them to be operational, they have to apply for a franchise with Congress. I mean, They, they I, don't have to, Madam Chair, because tignan niyo yung wording. Ha? Undertake the establishment construction, operation, and maintenance of public utilities, other services, infrastructure in the Bulacan Echo Zone, such as, uh, then in a rate niya, no? Mr. Uh, President, as, will it help if we can just put, provided that they should be in compliance with Congress right to grant, uh, Congress mandate to grant a franchise, and concerned departments, uh, permits, and agencies? My, my point, Madam Chair, is that if you take this out, and they want to do it, they can still apply it. Eh. But if you put this, basically you're giving them all the power. Ne? We're not uh, giving them all the power if they have to still be compliant. No, ma'am, because they have to establish, they can construct, they can operate. Okay, that's why, they, Mr. President, uh, this is curative. Eh? I, I believe that when we're doing an amendment, we are trying to cure uh, whatever flaws it, the it, bill has. Yes, so Madam instead Chair. of arguing about it, uh, that you know, they, we're, they're, we're giving them that power. I agree with our colleague here that we should put something uh, that says that they have to still uh, go through the regular uh, law, uh, the, the regular process mm. in obtaining such permits. Can, can we do that, yeah. Mr. President? Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe... Do you have the proposal ready, sir? Uh, no, that, precisely that was my question because... You know, for all I know, when I ask the question, baka may specific reason nga why we're granting no, I, them, okay, them so, that. Okay, so that? Let's, let's work on that, um, yeah. Mr. President. Okay. So, may I go to the Board of Directors? Uh, first question, why did we digress from the usual board ng ibang mga economic, uh, ibang uh, eco zone? Eco zone? I believe, Mr. President, the reason why we did that is we wanted uh, more participation from national government agencies as well as more representation from the local government to guarantee also some sort of uh, autonomy for them. Yeah, but under the proposal in this bill, it will ensure that uh, a, the chairman will be 
a nominee of the San Miguel Corporation Airport City. No, Mr. President. No, uh, anong section? Hmm? They will be ele he, he will be elected among the members. Yes. He'll be elected among the members, but all of the members cannot be elected because you're not allowed to chair a, a eco zone if you already have a different government job. That would be unconstitutional. So ang natira na lang na pwede yung representative of airport project at yung eco zone workers and yung private sector. But yung lahat ng iba kasi, like governor ng Bulacan, hindi ka pwedeng governor ng Bulacan tapos chairman ka ng, then, ng ano. Uh, diba? So all, all, all the others, APECO, CESA, AFAB, uh, the chairman is appointed by the president or it's ex officio a cabinet secretary. So why don't we just make the chairman appointed by the president? Hmm? We can, uh, we can, uh, if you, if you have a proposal, Mr. President, that uh, we can yeah. amend. Yeah, it's not just a proposal. It's pointing out that we want to keep a Chinese wall. We want the synergy and we want the airport to be successful, but we want to, um, to, to prevent a conflict of interest between the private-led San Miguel Corporation and the publicly owned uh, Beso. But under the way it was crafted, ang magiging chairman dito, representative ng airport project. And then, if you look at the powers, the board or the president can give the chairman the powers of the administrator. So he can basically take over. So basically, he gave the whole province to the owner of the airport. So private na to. So no, iba, no, iba na. Ken, Ken. Yeah. Uh, Ken, Ken. I'm, can. I'm talking but, about But diba sabi mo nga, mayroong representative of the labor, ano, Bakit dun sa mga AFAB, sino yung representative? Uh, no, sa AFAB, administrator is chairman. BPI. So pwede rin, kung gusto ninyo, ganun, yeah, pwede yeah. rin. Just so that it's consistent. Uh, again, di ba? Dun sa AFAB, elected among the members of the board. No, the AFAB, it's administrator of AFAB is the chairperson. Sineparate na nila yun. Uh, Amended. AFA ba sa men, the date, uh, yeah. separate na yung, yung chairman and administrator? As a default under the Philippine Constitution, the, the president uh, um, appoints. So if it's okay with the chairperson, uh, the good senator, why don't we just let the president choose the chairperson so that at least the administrator, kasi the president is accountable eh. Yeah, accountable Mr. President, to all with, of us, with the yeah. proposal, uh, yeah. please uh, propose the amendment and we will look into it. Yes. And then, can we make it clear? I, I don't know how to word it. I, I know that wasn't the intention, but if you read the powers of the chairman, parang pwede ibigay ng board or president yung powers ng administrator. Kasi ang pagkaintindi ko, ang CEO or COO is the administrator. The chairman is really the chairman of the board, really policy making, di ba? Unless we intend it to be both, then gawin na natin no, clear. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. So it's like BCDA, we, we iba, it, yung, iba yung presidente, iba yung, yeah. Yes, Mr. Uh -huh. President, yes, that, that, that could be uh, an amendment uh, for the president to appoint uh, the chairman. Can I go back to the, yung pong sinabi nyo about yung uh, pwedeng to sell locally? Okay. Yeah. Can, can I have a one-minute break? Ah, oh, yes. Then? Thank I you. Session suspended. One minute.